So this is a video on how to paint spectral blue flame. So um, when you're painting flames on, on some of the units, you have uh, several choices. You can do the normal incandescent flames, that's the yellowish, reddish fire. Uh, things that you tend to think of when you think of fire, the, the, the characteristic look. But you can also do spectral. Uh, this is this bluish, greenish colored. Um, we usually put this on things like uh, uh, blue flames, uh, blue flamers, things like that as each. You'll get some on some of the Nurgle units, some of the Death Guard units will have it. You can put a little green tinge instead of blue. In any case, this is a, a video on how to paint up the blue uh, version that you see right here in front of you. So we put this on several units, so it's here on an Exalted Flamer. We've also got it here on our um, blue scribes underneath the disc as each. So in, uh, in any of these cases, um, so in any case, uh, depending on where you want to use it, uh, I will show you how to paint it up to look like the way it looks right here. Uh, you can also use it on night haunts or um, some of the ghosts and um, uh, spectrals in uh, Age of Sigmar as well. Use the same paint scheme. So if you're interested in painting up something that looks along these lines, please feel free to stay tuned. And uh, if you like videos like this, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you um, in a few minutes to paint up some spectral blue flame. Now that we've got it uh, based in white, what we're going to do is put a base coat over that. And we're going to use some interesting things now. We're going to use the base of... Nicolath Oxide, which is basically just the rust color we usually use for like things like Plague Marines and Nurgle and stuff. But we're going to put a base of that right over all of the white over here. Uh, so we'll use it pretty much out of the pot just because we don't have that mixed with anything. And this is a technical paint. We're just going to base it with that, with our little spectral type flames. Just like so. So we'll do that for the rest of the model and we'll meet back here in a few minutes once it's done. Don't forget to get in between all of these flames. So we'll do that. We'll meet back here in a couple more minutes. So now that our oxide is dried, we're going to add another shade over the top of this and we're going to use um, Night Haunt Gloom. So this is our second technical paint in a row. Uh, I've watered this one down about three to one or four to one with uh, medium just so it's not too too thick and then we're just gonna shade that right over the top just like so it's nice and watered down so it'll just fill in the the grooves We'll just keep doing that and we'll meet back here in a few more moments when all this is uh, in and dried. So now that our Night Hunt Gloom has dried, what we're going to do is add a dry brush over the top of that. So we're going to dry brush on some Ultharin Grey and that will start lightening up our model here. So it's just a straight up dry brush. Nothing too exciting. Just like so. And all we're trying to do is lighten some of that flame back up. Like so. See? So we'll keep doing this and we'll be back here in a few minutes when it's done. So here's our exalted flamer now that we've done with the Ulthran uh, Grape. So now what we're going to do is do one more highlight layer over the top of that. And it'll be a very, very light highlight because it's so bright, but it'll be white scar. So we'll do a little bit of white scar right over the top there. And dry brush that right on. Just making sure it's light enough. Just dry brush on a little bit of that white scar. On all the high points here. <laughs> 